Hi, my name is Farhan and I'm here to review the manga for Slam Dunk. Before talking about the series itself, I want to talk about the impact that Takahiko Inoue has had with the series. Prior to its debut, basketball was nowhere near as popular as it was in Japan, but once the series started rolling around, the sport had gained more and more attention, thus becoming one of its most popular sports in the country, which is a pretty impressive feat. Aside from the obvious that the series is about basketball, it follows our main protagonist, Hanamichi Sakuragi, who is more or less basketball for bar, being a redheaded delinquent that sports a pompadour and not being the sharpest tool in the shed. And unlike the majority of protagonists in the sports series, he starts off hating basketball, and another thing to mention is that this man has been rejected 50 times. Then comes a uh, love interest, Haruko Okabe, who is a sweet, kind, and cute girl who notably has an interest in basketball, thus prompting him to reluctantly join the high school basketball team show her not only impress her but to win her affection which then leads to meeting his teammates who he didn't get along with very well from the start as far as sakuragi himself upon my first read uh, I, I didn't find his character that impressive but upon rereading it again i had a lot more appreciation for his character development which is rather straightforward but overall i appreciate the sub subtlety because we see him uh, slowly gain a competitiveness even see sides of frustration and how he deals with losses, etc. Then we have his fellow teammate, Kaide Ruka, who they pretty much hate each other throughout the majority of the series, primarily through Haruka as she is in love with Rukawa, albeit not feeling the same way for her. Rukawa is usually quiet and different towards towards a lot of things and someone has a glum attitude. However, when it comes to basketball, he is definitely competitive. While they do hate each other from a majority of the series, they do gain a bit of respect for each other in regards to their talents of the game. And towards the end, they do start to trust each other more. And overall, Rukar starts to be become less selfish in games and becoming more reliant on his teammates. Takanori Akagi is the captain of the team and takes the game very seriously. His dynamic with Sakuragi is that being Haruko's older brother, Sakuragi tries too hard to impress him to the point of him being pretentious, which usually comes across as rather annoying to Akagi. Being the captain, he along with Ayako and Coach Anzai teach him the fundamentals of basketball and how to play the game. Ryota Miyagi is quite similar to Sakuragi in the sense that he's also a delinquent that's been rejected by a lot of times, although not to the exact same amount as Sakuragi. However, he is more mature than him and not exactly as loud mouth. Also to note, he, had, he did have an incident involved with some punks that he had crossed paths with, which had to uh, which, uh, got him hospitalized and, uh, he, and made him take a break from basketball prior to joining the team again. Isashi Mitsui was a former player of Shohoku and was very talented, especially when it comes to shooting threes. Prior to Shohoku, in his middle school years, he was the MVP and when it came to a point where he struggled, Coach An Anzai had motivated him to get back into the game and ultimately won, which then prompted him to join Shohoku, which he was the star of the team at first. However, once Akagi started putting more work, he became a bit jealous and injury had occurred which demoralized him and thus he started straying away from basketball and become more of a delinquent, which then led to him getting to the incident involved in the incident with Miyagi and later once Miyagi joined the team, Mitsui recruited this other punk and basically tried to ambush Shohoku's team while they were in practice and a bit of a brawl ensued. Once Akagi came in and along with Kogure, they started going to, to more into his history and once Coach Anzai comes in and he feels remorse and rejoins the team. Haruko Akagi is the main love interest of Sakuragi and younger sister of Takenori Akagi. She is a kind, sweet, and cute girl who has a huge crush on Rukawa. However, that's about it. She doesn't really develop past that, nor does she develop any romantic feelings towards Sakuragi and just uh, remains having her crush on Rukawa. She, while, while she does help Sakuragi, such as teaching him a layup, how to do a layup and is supportive of him, however, there's not really much more than that. Ayako is the manager of the team, Miyagi's love interest, and one of the people that helped train Sakuragi. Anzai is the coach of the team, having a very humble and laid-back personality. However, that wasn't always the case, as he apparently used to be very strict. But due to a certain tragedy, he had mellowed down and become the coach that he is today, thus adopting the nickname White-Haired Buddha. And I believe it was also stated that Anzai used to play back in the day, which I would like to see more of, but unfortunately we don't really get to see that. Yohei Mito is Sakuragi's best friend pretty cool guy. While he may troll Sakuragi from time to time, he does always have his back. 
and Sakuragi's other friends are also more or less like that, but they're not as memorable as Yohei. Other notable characters from other teams, such as Ryonan, there is Akira Sendo, who is laid, very laid back and easygoing person that can be kind of lazy when it comes to other things. But when, but like with Rukawa, he is definitely competitive when it comes to basketball and is also one of Rukawa's rivals. He's a cool character, but I would have liked to see a bit more depth. Then we have Jun Uzumi, who is quite similar to Akagi, where he is pretty serious and uh, is the center of the, the who plays the center as well as being the team captain. And he also has a rivalry with Akagi and shown to have a bit of an inferior complexity. Koichi Aida is more so the team manager and usually takes notes of other players from other teams being impressed with their talents. And Coach Tauka is a good coach who is rather stern and quite strict on his team. And when, when it comes to other teams, he does have great respect for their coaches like with Anzai and Takato. Fukuda is also a delinquent who loves being praised, but we'll just leave that at that. Shinichi Maki is kind of total point guard that likes to exploit opponents' weaknesses. However, he also he has also shown to be quite sensitive, especially when Sakuragi and his friends make fun of him for looking older than he actually is. And as a team captain, he is shown to be quite strict towards his teammate Nobunaga Kyoto, who is quite similar to Sakuragi in many respects. There is also Kainan's coach Riki Takato, who is also true while remaining calm, while usually remaining calm and collected, but also can occasionally lose his cool if things don't go his way. Comedy is one of the main elements of Slam Dunk. For me, it's 50 50, as some of it's really good and some of it's corny and cheesy, in my opinion. But hey, comedy is subjective, so you may find yourself checking at it more than I did. Slam Dunk has a more grounded and realistic approach to basketball, especially compared to something like Broken the Basket. I'm not trying to take any shots at it, but for those that aren't into basketball, the series does see you have to play the game and co cover the fundamentals. The matches are competitive and can get really intense, and it doesn't feel like there's too much plot armor in regards to our main team. And the art is well drawn with quite the peculiar art style, having a somewhat of a realistic approach. Another thing I find cool is that some of the characters and teams resemble that of the NBA. More so the 90s given that was when this, the manga was serialized. Sakuragi with Dennis Rodman, Ruka with Michael Jordan, Miyagi with Muggsy Bogues, Akagi with Patrick Ewing, Sendo with Penny Hardaway, Maki with Magic Johnson, Shohoku with the Chicago Bulls, Toyotamo with the Detroit Bad Boys Pistons, etc. Overall, there's a great series with solid characters, story, and great matches. However, I will have mentioned that the series does start off quite slow, as the first 25 chapters are not that interesting as they usually more as they more so set up set up what's to come later on. But I do implore you to stick with it, and as it does pick up from that point. Overall, I'd give the series an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching the video, and please subscribe.